Hi, this is Granny Horse Training here, and um, I wanted to show you some features inside Lacey's trailer to make it a little easier. Now, what I do is I hang up, I use a blocker tie ring. But notice, I don't have it on the first stall where Lacey would be going into. I have it on the second one. Because what I'm going to do when I have Lacey in the trailer is I actually thread the rope up through the tie spot in that first stall where she'll be over here and put it in the blocker tie ring over here. So she's secured there. So when I come in to unload her, I'm always untying this first so her head is free, getting the rope out, and then opening your slant divider. Never ever open this slant divider. Never ever open a slant divider without your horse's head being unsecured at the front. Don't ever do it with them tied there, because that's how you end up with a trailer accident. Because as soon as they feel the pressure of this going off their butt, they're going to start trying to back up or get out. It doesn't matter how well trained your horse is, there's a chance that it might get into that oppositional reflex and start backing up and then pull like a fish on a line and start flopping around, eventually break something, either break itself or break the gear it's in, and stumble out of the trailer. And I've watched that happen, and it's a terrifying thing, very dangerous if you're the owner in the trailer trying to undo them, um, and very disastrous to the horse, because it beca especially if it's one of their first experiences in the trailer, it'll set them up for having bad trailering the rest of their life. In fact, they'll probably never want to trailer again for the rest of their life, so don't do that. Really easy. A lot of trailers are like stock trailers where you can throw the rope outside, tie them on the outside of the trailer, and then untie it before you even get in the trailer uh, to open it up. So that's another option for people. Um, yeah, so you're, everything about what you do with a horse in a trailer is important. Also, the way you drive is very important. Slow down. Don't take your curves fast. Don't slam on your brakes before the curve. Just kind of slow down before the curve. Take the curve easy. Accelerate very slow, you know, coming out of the curve. Don't, don't stop quick. Go over bumpy stuff slow. This trailer has torsion axles, so that helps. But if you have leaf spring axles in your trailer, it's a real bumpy ride for them. Whenever you're doing something bumpy, it's a real bumpy ride for them. Um, so you can take a good horse that's good at trailering, take them on a hell ride and driving like a bat out of hell and turn them into a horse that doesn't want to go in a trailer ever again in its life. So um, combine that with an accident at the end where you didn't uh, untie them before undoing the slant load and you end up with a horse that will never trailer. Um, yeah, so I've experienced that by buying a horse that the people that delivered it to me did exactly that. They were in a hurry. They took him on a hell ride. When they got there, she, she was so happy to get rid of that horse that she jumped in that trailer, opened up the slant divider without untying him first. He pulled back like a fish on a line, broke the halter and lead rope, fell out of the back of the trailer, and that was that. I never could get him good at the trailer again. And then, of course, he passed away because he had degenerative lig suspensatory ligament disease. And probably one of the reasons they sold him um, even though he wasn't showing symptoms when I bought him and passed his vet check, it was in his genetic bloodlines. So, lessons learned, lessons learned. Uh, never have horses delivered to you. Go and pick them up with your trailer or your friend's trailer or whatever, because if they don't get on, don't give them the money. <laughs> That's the first name of the game with horses. If they don't get on the trailer, don't give them the money. So, thanks for watching. This is Granny Horse Training just going over a little bit of trailer safety tips uh, for having your horse in it. Make sure everything else is good on your trailer too, like the floor. Floor's got to be good. Horses fall through floors. Um, so uh, there's always something more to babble on about trailers, horses, accidents. Yeah. So have a good day now. Bye.